Welcome back to a, another video on 5M vehicle modeling of sorts. Um, in this video, uh, we'll be taking a look at embedded textures and how you actually change them. Uh, now, this is something that I only recently found out myself on how to actually do. Now, I just want to share it with you guys since I found it to be kind of confusing about how it all works. Um, so yeah. I'll just quickly cover the topic. Um, it's actually relatively simple as soon as you, you know, you figure out how to get into it. So, what we need to do first, uh, before we even get started, obviously we need to have open IV so that we can find our actual textures. You need a, another program called Texture Toolkit. As always, I'll leave this in the description um, as well as any other public uh, resources that I'm using. So, um, essentially just go ahead and download this. Then what, uh, we'll do is we'll open up open IV load up. <clears throat> now um, embedded you're only really going to meet embedded textures um, at least what I'm going to show you here is how you're going to be changing liveries that are found within um, like vehicle customization so like when you go to like a tuning shop and you can change like the engine modifications any kind of like spoiler, rear bumper, bonnet, you know, etc. Uh, then you also find the option to change a livery. Now, nine out of 10 times, uh, the way you're gonna change a livery is through, uh, if you're playing on a vmenu based server, you're gonna find it in your menu under a section called livery, and then you can switch between them. Uh, but that's not how it works when you're in a tuning shop. Then you've obviously got, you know, the tuning option or the delivery option in the tuning. Um, in the tuning shop. So, what I'll go ahead and do here is I've already found my car. Uh, this is a Gauntlet Hellfire, so a law friendly uh, Dodge Challenger. Now, what I initially thought you had to do was go into the YTD and then look for any kind of sign. But we don't have any kind of sign or NK uh, Gauntlet 4 underscore sign underscore 123, whatever. It just doesn't exist in here. So, what you gotta do is you gotta head into your mods section. And then right here, I've got NK Gauntlet 4 underscore livery 1. And in here, at first, this kind of got me confused because, like, I, I knew how to find this, but this doesn't really show me much of a livery. Now, that's where you go down to the bottom right of your screen. So, you've got view embedded textures and export embedded textures. So, first off, I'm just gonna press view, and here you go. So I've got NK Gauntlet 4 underscore template underscore 1. Um, I'm not super sure whether the name of this actual uh, livery actually matters, whether I could call it NK Gauntlet 4 underscore livery underscore 1, or if it has to say template. Whatever, I just follow the exact same name that I found here. So, to actually change this, uh, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm actually going to open up my toolkit, or my texture toolkit. Um, again, I've got my uh, my dev folder set up here, and I've got texture toolkit. I open it up, I then go to load. I, I find my vehicle and I find all the modification options. And then I want to find livery one. Here you go. Now you can see I've got my NK Gauntlet 4 underscore template underscore one, and I've got my livery over here. Now I'm not going to be completely changing this, this is more or less just to show you how does it actually work. How do you actually change it? So, what I'll do from here is I will actually go to export. So I, I just want to export this single file. Um, just to make it easier on myself, I'll just go ahead and export it into my mods folder. So now this is going to be in my folder here as it's standalone um, .dds file. So if I go into my folder here and find them, uh, that's just people on the Hellfire. Mods. And then if I just go ahead and sort by type, I've got NK Gauntlet 4 underscore template underscore 1. Now, uh, the program that I use, which is called Critter, which I've used in my previous videos too, um, doesn't just take straight DDS files. So, what I actually do is I'll hit up my favorite website, conversu.co, uh, with my DDS to PNG. Let me just see if I can find it here. DDS to PNG, yep. I will then go ahead and find my vehicle again. It's like that. 
And then my DDS. I put that in. I press convert. Might as well just get my crit up and running in the meantime. <clears throat> All right, and it's done. I'll just go ahead and actually download that to the exact same file or folder. Let's see, on the Hellfire stream mods. There you go. All right, and then I'll just quickly remove that. Just like that, good. All right, and I've got my crypto open here. I'll paste this in. All right, so now I'm actually editing delivery um i know personally for this vehicle i didn't have any kind of a template to, to follow so i just simply you know i pasted my highway patrol livery you know as i needed it um, and then i went back and forth with uh, restarting my server to check out delivery placement and such um but just to show how this actually works is i'll just grab any random color uh, i'll do a green I'll just make my brush size a tiny bit smaller and then I'll put a line over a highway patrol. All right. Now, obviously you wouldn't actually want to do this tiny live because you, you know, you wanted to say highway patrol, uh, but you know, this is just proof of concept that this is how it works. Now, as soon as you've done that, um, I'll just go ahead and export it again like that. All right. Hit back into my texture toolkit. I'll then go ahead and press import let me just make sure this actually saved properly there you go let's go ahead and refresh here ah right i forgot a step sorry um so after you've done that you've got it back to a, uh, a png and you've like you've got your change png now you want to revert it back to a dds so the way you do that is much like before uh, i'm just quickly gonna select my thing right here then I will do image, then I'll do this PNG in. Mm. Here's such PNG actually. Unless it does not. Oh, it's already, it's already PNG. All right. I convert it back to a DDS folder, a file. Have that convert here. And now simply because I actually want to save the, the original livery. Uh, I am going to store this elsewhere uh, since I don't want to overwrite this. So what I'll actually do is I'll just make a folder here called video, just because it's a video that I'm doing for it. I'll save it like that. Good. And then I've got my liver right here. And now it's actually overwritten in here. So all you want to do now is press save. That's good. And just to show that it now works in here too, I'll head into my livery. I will view embedded textures. And the change is already done in here. So, what I will then go ahead and do is I don't really have anything else to do on this car right now, um, other than just load up my server and check out delivery. So, as soon as I'm in my server, I'll be back with you guys. So, yeah. Again, this will only take two seconds for you, but it's gonna take me a few minutes. So yeah, I'll see you when I'm on my server. All right, and I am now in my server. So. What I'll go ahead and do is I will get the actual vehicle spawned in. Let me just figure out the spawn codes here again. NK Gauntlet 4. Okay. NK Gauntlet 4. Alright. Got my vehicle. Looks perfectly fine. I'll go into my mod menu. And then I'll change livery. So there you go. Now, this is how it's supposed to look, and this is how it did look before. Well, before I decided to add a nasty green line over my highway patrol. Um, but yeah, that's essentially how you, you change embedded textures in a livery. Um, personally, I haven't tried this um, on anything but a livery. But then again, I'm not entirely certain why you would even want to do it on anything but a livery. Um, but yeah, if if you, for whatever reason, have to change into something that isn't a livery, it's the exact same way you got to do it, you know. Um, export it through the embedded textures, um, convert it, well, open up the, um, well, yeah, open up toolkit V, a texture toolkit, you know, get it exported, convert it from a DDS to PNG if your, you know, editing software for your, you know, texture doesn't take DDS. Um, if it does take DDS, good on you, 
you can skip that step. Um, as soon as that's done, you, you know, you basically just, you know, export it. And then you re-import it in Texture Toolkit. And then you save it. And then, yeah. Then you just, you know, restart your resource, restart your server, start your server, whatever kind of step you're at. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. Um, as always, if you guys have any kind of questions about anything, if you know, something doesn't work for you, um, join my Discord, ask in the comment section. I'm pretty, pretty fast on the replies. I usually am a bit quicker on Discord. Um, it's based on the fact that I don't really have notifications on my YouTube. Um, however, I, I do still get the, uh, the bell notification. Um, I just don't get any actual pop-ups for it. Um, but yeah, um, obviously if the video helped you, leave a like. Um, if you'd like to be notified when I upload next, subscribe. Um, but yeah, um, until next time, stay safe.